Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a quick tour of the outside of my GeoPro 19 SD by Rockwood. Um, I've done some cool organization here on the front storage compartment that is actually might be one of the favorite things that I've done in this trailer. So I'll just go through each storage compartment and show you what I did. Thanks for watching. Something that's pretty cool that um, I saw on another YouTube channel is using pegboard to create a storage solution in these um, kind of high compartments. So this is my front compartment um, on the passenger side. So what we did is we took out the black plastic, this sort of black plastic was all the way around and then it was just kind of a deep storage hole. So we took out the black plastic from two of the sides and then we attached the pegboard. There's actually little boards back there. I don't know if you can see that. They were in there. So we attached the pegboard to that. We cut it to size. We had to cut it in two pieces to get it in here. And then I just used pegboard tools for hanging everything. So everything now has a spot. Just kind of show you. The stuff that you know, I'm not really going to need to get to is kind of stashed in the back, like I have, you know, that hammer, but I don't really think I'm going to use it, but I have it anyways. And these are my two zero G water hoses. This is the spare one, and this is the one that I'm going to be using most, and they're both 50 feet. So this one's wrapped up around two, and I've even got the water filter and that hooked up to it, and that's on a peg holder too, so it won't come out. So yeah, I just kind of use this to organize all the stuff that would otherwise just be piled in a container or something else. I've even got my little headlamp there. So this is a really cool idea. This is my front passenger and I'll also show you the driver's front one. And then the other thing I've got in here is my leveling system. Um, these are not the Anderson ones. They're I think Beecher. Um, they actually had higher ratings on Amazon so I decided to go with those ones. They're pretty much exactly like the Anderson ones only they're black and I think a little more heavy duty. But, so that is this compartment. So this is the pass-through storage compartment. Um, if you watched my inside video, um, I showed you how you can put bigger things into this because as you can see, the opening is not really that big. Um, for instance, I have this table in here and this table would not fit through this entrance, so the entrance of the, the door size. So I put it in via lifting up the couch cushion and sliding it under there. So there's a lot of room in this though. I have a table, it's outdoor rug, I have four of the kind of camp folding chairs. I have an outdoor dog, pin, um, yeah, maybe a couple other things in there. Plus the tool bag is on the other side. So big storage. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. And then, like I said, use the couch by lifting it up to get the bigger things in there that won't fit through the cargo door. So looking at the outside here, um, we did replace the tires. We had the off-road package. We replaced them with the Goodyear Endurance. And the reason that we did that is because we are going to be driving um, quite a bit, long trips, and we just didn't want to worry about the tires and you know I'm sure you've all heard about the tires exploding and things of that nature I don't know if anybody's had that happen on the ones that came on this but it was just it was worth the peace of mind it was somewhere around three hundred dollars for the for the tire replacement and I'll just give you so these are the Goodyear Endurance these are also uh, weight rated higher than the ones that uh, came on it So this is the back passenger side compartment. It's the only compartment that I didn't put pegboard in besides the pass-through. Um, this one has 
So on the bottom back there, those are emergency triangles, just in case. I have a tarp in case somebody needs to lay on the ground to do anything underneath. Um, I have the Camco kind of Lego style leveling system there and uh, just some knee pads for my husband for if he's doing anything. And that's all that's in that compartment. So one other thing that we did is we switched out the low point drainage hoses. We put these little um, easy empty handles on the ends. They had these little pop-on caps that were actually really hard to get off. So now we have these, so we just drain, closed, um, a nice little fix to the problem, plus just to make it easier. And the tool bag that we got fits perfectly right into the little pass-through compartment storage. So that's where we keep that for easy access. And if we come over here, this is where all the sewer stuff is kept. This is the front driver's side compartment. And again, we put the pegboard in for organization. Took the black plastic off of the back and the side. Installed pegboard. This is a sidewinder for your sewer hose. Um, it actually fits perfect in this compartment. That is a spare sewer hose just in case, and a hose for cleaning out gloves. And then this is like some miscellaneous cap fittings for the sewer stuff. But you see all that fits very nicely and neatly into the compartment. And the pegboard storage makes it really nice and convenient. One other thing that I bought is I bought this hitch cover. Keeps the water and weather off of it. Has these cool little straps that safety chains hang from. And you just cinch it 